Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I kind of wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the bleed character that I'm playing and kind of why I really do not recommend making any type of melee bleed character, specifically like primarily focusing on bleed. Not saying you can't still use bleed with the build, but... So with the new changes that they did to like basically all the ailments and changing damage over time and poison and ignite, etc. They added in pretty much like 11 new support gems and part of these support gems were well at least a heavy emphasis on them was kind of to go through like the damage over time changes and allowing players to scale full physical so they don't have to go elemental so with this brought in like i said a bunch of new support gems which kind of leads you to playing a more bleed variant because you have like chance to bleed and just ailment duration all the stuff that would scale it well unfortunately um, it's still relatively difficult to hit 100% chance to bleed unless you were to use like crafted weapons or deck out in like uniques pretty much everywhere or I guess you could say kind of traversing through the tree and getting chance to bleed on the tree. The only thing is is that with the new changes they haven't, I'm gonna assume they haven't really updated the tree much because literally like 90% of the nodes on the tree don't work for bleed damage so like any type of melee damage doesn't work, area damage doesn't work. Uh, attack damage doesn't work and like a lot of these nodes for example like fencing would be a hybrid so it gives you increased damage with bleed and increased physical damage with one-handed melee weapons that doesn't work for bleed that 24% physical damage with one-handed melee weapons does not apply at all so either they mean for you to play bleed as like a hybrid thing so it's like you either you just have bleed with your main attack you know uh, or it's just not updated so either way I'd like to see some more I guess bleed updates in the near future and whatnot so I know this tree looks fucking retarded but basically the idea of it is to get crit multi uh, and crit chance and scale it and scale the bleed via perfect agony because you can take the crit multiplier um, from your weapons and whatnot and the global crit multiplier and apply it through well to crit multi with perfect agony the problem is is it gets kind of icky because when you're playing a build like this this is kind of why I don't like trap builds that are like with bows because you have your chance to hit that you're rolling which I know I need more accuracy but then on top of your chance to hit you have to roll a crit and then from your crit you have like your bleed damage roll so you want to get a higher bleed roll and then if you're using like one of the new support gems with maim I'd have to get the target maimed as well to get the additional damage and then I don't have my I don't have my cruel saboteur point because I kind of didn't even want to play the build past that I would get like bonus damage and stuff but it just gets it just gets really kind of gimmicky at that point, and I don't want to play a character like that. I don't think anyone does. That's kind of why I'm making this update for you guys. Now, that's not to say you can't just play a regular, a regular fucking pure physical build and scale with bleed and poison, because you absolutely can. So I just want to go ahead and kind of jump into like a short little map here. Nothing crazy. It's going to be super easy. Here's a white marshes map. Um, that's right. I lost my uh, portal thing. So because of the beta, uh, where is it again? Is it just regular? Here it is. Oh yeah, so my links are as follow. Now again, I cannot stress enough to say that this character is not complete. I'm just stopping it at this, but I'm just running Grace as my aura because we're not trying to scale uh, any type of elemental damage or anything. And then we run Temp Chains on Blasphemy. I'm using Chance to Bleed, Sunder, Meme, Unbound Ailments, Deadly Ailments, Brutality. Note that Sunder is pretty much the best skill you can use for this scenario because you shoot out the Sunder, Sunder has great base damage. When the explosions proc, it rolls chance to bleed on the explosions and on the monsters as well. Uh, and I'm using a Hegemony's Arrow, so this is pretty much an endgame staff for my build. So if I'm not instantly one-shotting everything, pretty much guarantee this build will do no, like, no damage at all endgame. So here we go. Oh yeah, then I don't know where my Ice Golem is, but I need him too. Do I have Mr. Golem? Here he is. And we're only at 46 crit chance. Really, like, the only thing I want to show this on is a boss. And of course, POE is fucking lagging again like crazy. <laughs> Oh, 
I also do not have any flat fizz on my gear, which I think is a pretty big part as well. Holy fucking Jesus, PoE servers, why? Oh my god, game. Game is trying to PK right now, boys. I don't even know what's going on. Servers are hitting like an all-time shitter right now. As you can tell, this build is designed specifically for hardcore. We've got a uh, 2.3k HP. Not even capped all res, but we're still uh, going with the clear speed meta, boys. This is like the worst I've ever seen it in my entire life. This this is pretty bad, dude. What the hell? Oh god. I feel like I'm gonna die in a, a fucking white T3 map. Here we go. Come on. We're almost at the boss, boys, and then we can conclude the video. We're so so close. Oh oh god. Oh oh no. We're lagging again. G G G, please. I also came to the conclusion that if you were to plug in a uh, level, well not a level 1, but a uh, decay gem by itself, just like this, if you were to plug it in, it would do pretty much as much damage as my build right now. Alright, here we go boys, let's get a let's get a fatty ignite on this dude, or I mean bleed. Alright, come here buddy. Come here. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, nope. Did I get one yet? I, I can't even... No? Yeah, maybe? No? Oh, oh okay. Uh, mm-hmm. No. Almost? Maybe? I think that was it. No, I can't tell. Okay, game's lagging again. I think that was it. No, oh no. We had like an okay hit there for a second. So yeah, what I would recommend, personally, is just playing like your, your regular standard crit fucking whatever build you're doing and then just getting chance to bleed if you're playing like a one-handed build for flat fizz isn't really that bad in my opinion uh it actually gives quite a bit of damage so just kind of adding in bleed into your builds really isn't too bad of an option since it'll scale off like brutality and things like that but that's pretty much what i came up with uh with this bleed character if i were to remake it i would honestly probably remake it with rain of arrows and use a bow because I feel that scaling it with a bow is much better than with melee because melee just doesn't have many options uh, in terms of scaling bleed. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. So hope you guys liked the video. Um, this is probably the most fucking uneventful character I've ever played in my entire life. People always ask me that question, like, what build do you hate the most? So this is tied with uh, my lightning prolif shield charger back before Ascendancy. Oh no, that was with Ascendancy. So uh, anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, for all the people who are going to tell me to play Gladiator, no thank you. Uh, that wouldn't help my damage at all. It would just give me clear speed. Um, and yeah, if you, like the, if you like the video, remember I stream live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. So take care, everybody.